Hirohito was a Japanese emperor who wanted to expand his empire to the Pacific Ocean. On December 7, 1941, Hirohito's Japanese forces attacked the American fleet at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. His forces contained 353 Japanese fighters, bombers, and torpedo planes. Amongst these were the most feared planes, such as the Japanese Zero fighter plane. I'll get my commanding officer. Sir, the radar operator wishes to speak with you. Yes? Sir, there seems to be a large number of planes coming to your position. Mm hmm. Well, don't worry about it. We're expecting a flight of American B 17s coming in this afternoon. The planes are most likely them. The crew of the USS Arizona were doing their normal duties. Hey, can you help me with this? Let's see here. Ready? Oh, two, three, two. What is that? Sounds like a tank flight of planes. They look Japanese. What are they doing here? Look! Oh, we're under attack! Oh. Why are they doing this? Ah! Japanese are attacking us. Why? The attack lasted just under two hours, from 7.55 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. The USS Arizona was attacked and destroyed. The Americans did not expect this attack, which was secretly planned by Hirohito for a year. One day after, President Franklin D. Roosevelt asked Congress to declare war on Japan. President Roosevelt proclaimed December 7, 1941 as a date that will live in infamy. Three days later, Germany and Italy declared war on the United States. With the attack, Americans came together in the fight against the Axis powers by enlisting in the military and working in the factories to produce weapons, ammunition, vehicles, and supplies. This brought a boost in the economy that brought the United States out of the Depression. Today, we remember Pearl Harbor and the people lost. 
by observing a memorial every year on December 7. 2,402 Americans died and 1,282 were wounded during the attack. The USS Arizona still sits at the bottom of Pearl Harbor, Hawaii to this day.